Major school district is making masks mandatory. Fulton County says the students in high transmission areas of Fulton have to cover up when they start school on Monday. Right now, 13 of the 14 cities in Fulton County meet uh, the criteria of that. Johns Creek is the only area where masks are optional. CBS 46's Megan Packer spoke with a pediatrician sending a message to parents. Put your mask on, um, encourage your children to put their mask on, encourage their teachers to put their mask on. That's the message Dr. Kiana Washington is sending loud and clear to her patients and anyone else who will listen. Even if your school district has it as optional, even if no one else is wearing a mask, still wear a mask. Um, that is going to be the best way that we can not only get our children into school, but allow our children to stay into school. Dr. Washington is a pediatrician and CEO of Gwinnett Pediatrics and Adolescent Medicine. She's fielding a lot of questions right now from families as parents face decisions. Metro Atlanta school districts all have different mask policies in place as the new academic year begins. Some require them, others are making them optional. That's despite new guidelines from the CDC saying mask up in any school, regardless of vaccination status. I actually think it's um, a good thing because they, I feel safer that way because it, the cases are going up a lot lately. And for my safety and my kids' safety, I feel like it's with me, it's fine. Fulton County Schools is the latest to announce a mask mandate in areas with a high number of cases. What I am worried about is particularly in the districts where masks are optional is COVID running rampant among the staff. And so they are having 20 percent of teachers out with COVID. How are they going to sustain in that school and allow that school to stay open? Dr. Washington also recommends getting children 12 and older vaccinated. She has a seven year old son and says as soon as younger children are eligible for the vaccine, she'll be giving him the shot in Sandy Springs. I'm Megan Packer, CBS 46 News.